Hey crazy, it's me crazy knock and I just want to do a video on the cosmetics and the monetization of play first games and multiverses and I wanted to give my th my my thoughts because it, it's a it's a touchy t subject but I wanted to give my thoughts on what I think it should be, what I think is fair and what I think makes sense. Here we go. First I want to mention that having a free to play game, you have to understand that if you go to free to play, you have to expect battle passes, you know, skins in the shop, you know, banners, voice lines, or whatever, what you have, you sprays, all that stuff to be on sale. It's just a reality. But you can't do this to me. I'm personally okay with it. It's just depending on how far does the company go to fuck someone over, you know? Like, I need that money. How much are they going to push and push to get away with? That's the real question. Cause they have to make money somehow. It's just a reality. I think everyone, I think most people are okay with that. Cause for example, if you have a paid game and then you start charging skins, it's just like, it's kind of scummy because then it's like, okay, like I paid the game. I paid for the game. Why can't I earn the stuff in the game that I paid for? Incoming. All right, now what do I think? How much should a skin cost? I think no matter what, it should not cost more than like $25. And that's, I feel like that should be premium content and premium skins that are, don't come around much. Like I'd be okay with 30 if they are like super uh, ultra skins that they put a lot of time in. I'm talking like effects, different color changes, different voice lines, and obviously a different skin. Like if they go all out, then I'm okay with it. I really am. <laughs> with that in mind, the only reason I'm saying this is hoping that they have skins in the game that you can earn that are either equal to or sometimes better than the skins that you can buy. Because it really feels shitty when you have like maybe an earnable skin that just changes a little bit uh, on your character that you spent hours trying to achieve and get. And just for a $20 skin to ruin that and be like, oh, hey, this looks way more badass. Yeah, you'll have the accomplishment and feeling of like, hey, look, I earned this, but it really goes a long way to have an earnable skin that's like, oh, wow, look at that guy. He's wearing that skin. How did he get that skin? Oh, I earned it. I earned it, bitch. I earned it. <laughs> I think it has to be a good balance. Very good earnable skins with a balance of good paid skins. That is a perfect scenario in my book. Heads up, old man. Another thing I wanted to talk about is uh, being paid to win because that does matter in lots of free to play games. Like games like Lost Ark, Genshin Impact, even DVD is technically pay to win where you're paying for something to either progress you in the game or give you an advantage or get you something early. Like anything like that is just a no go for me. And that does happen in free to play games. Let's fucking go! Level 50 Superman. Holy shit, how many hours do I have? 3,000? Oh man, that feels good. Dude, nice job, man. I just downloaded the game like a week ago and I'm already at level 50 Bugs Bunny. So I guess we're twins now, huh? Would you say you already have it? That's literally impossible, dude. I literally have been playing this game 3,000 hours. Oh yeah, I just got the uh, the uh, the boost or whatever. The, like, the thing that you can buy to like instantly level up your character. And they have shown no signs, no signs. Play First Games doesn't have any signs of going pay to win. That you can earn characters, all the characters in game with in game currency. So you can unlock the perks as well. So as long as they keep that going, that is perfect. Also, with skins being on sale, I want them to have a cycled through list where there's a fear of missing out list where if this skin goes away we will not bring it back you know limited time will not be coming back shop because i think that gives a little bit of fomo but it's that shouldn't be the majority of skins then there should be a shop that cycles through they could have a one that cycles daily and weekly shops that you know that are coming back and always being cycled through and then you could even have a section that will always be available just three tabs you know fomo cycled and then a uh, shop that's always gonna be there that you have no questions, no fear of being in, like that's gonna be out of the shop. Cause that sucks as a player to be like, oh man, I feel like I have to buy this. And yes, it is free to play. It is free to play, okay, it is free. And you guys think it's gonna be just free. And like, oh, why are you buying skins? It's just free. 
gamers, we all know that all these games take advantage of people that it's very hard. You have the FOMO. You love the game. You don't want to miss out on any skins. I, I, we're talking about Fortnite, man. Everyone bought skins. They didn't want to miss out on skins in Fortnite. Let's be real. Right there in the title of having what kind of section of store it is, I think it would go a long way to, uh, you know, make it tra be transparent with the community. Because I'm okay with all those special delivery. Also, with the events they did, they had some where you had to buy them and had some where you had to earn them. I think that was complete bullshit. I don't like that practice at all i think it's stupid because if, what if someone like a wonder woman and the black lantern wonder woman and superman you had to buy but the, the other one that you didn't have to pay for like what if i don't main that character you know so it just really like splits the player base on that i think it should be fully earnable but it should be limited and if you do not get that stuff during the the event then uh you're kind of crap out of luck i do think that it shouldn't like it should be like a month-long event which where it only take you like a week or so to complete if you played because i know some people's schedules don't line up perfectly with like the week like oh this week only like oh crap i'm out of town that week you know so there should be mechanics that way the longer the more days you go without logging in with the event maybe it gives you a little bit of a boost to try to a catch up mechanic like that that's what makes an event an event special like you don't have the stuff recycled in because it I hate it when people have skins that they think is FOMO, but then they bring back the skin and it really pisses off the people who actually got that skin or earned that skin earlier on. I would be pissed. It, it's happened to me before. It's just annoying. That's what I think about events. Sorry, here it is. Now let's talk about the battle pass. How much should it be? I think it should be $10 and you can earn back the battle pass. It has been confirmed already that we're going to probably get Gleamium in game it's gonna be earnable in games it's gonna be in the battle pass it's gonna be in the battle pass why are you motivated to get it done because if you get it done all the way then you can get the next battle pass so it it's a win-win like we put in forth the effort to earn that the battle pass and get it the next one while they keep the players engaged and the players coming back always getting online in your game which causes more success more people to find out the game and more people to buy skins and I could talk about what skins should be involved, like how many skins. I think if you did something like Fortnite where you had like, I don't know, five skins or something throughout the battle pass. And then the last skin is a mythic skin, maybe a mythic effect skin. At the same time, I'm torn behind that because if it's a mythic skin for the wrong character, then it's just, it feels shitty. I feel like the only way they could do the end battle pass mythic skins is if they make a mythic skin for every single character that they have and then make it so when you reach the battle pass at the end you can choose which skin you want to get the mythic for the thing about i know uh overwatch 2 has mythic skins i kind of like the idea of what they're trying to do with genji you can change the styles the colors and then there's also animations different reload animations and stuff like that that's what i'm talking about mythic skins when you want to rework or you know add some special feel to the skins but those are just my thoughts that of something they could do i'm excited to see what they come up with and i do think that the battle pass should be fomo if you do not get the battle pass done you should not be able to get it again and that's just how i personally feel a lot of you might not like that but it, again they need to balance it to where it doesn't take hours and hours and like almost like if you play every day for like a few hours it shouldn't have to take every single day, day by day, up until the end of the battle pass. Like, I think that's complete bullshit. If a season is like three months, if you consistently play like every day for a month, you should be able to earn the battle pass. So that way you have such big gaps to where players have a lot of time to earn. Now, I do think for the people who do play a long time, it should have bonus tiers. Valorant does a similar thing where they have like the epilogue tiers at the end but it should really be something special for the players who actually grind their game and be rewarded because what is the goal for player first games? They want you to be inside their game. They want you to be playing the game. Way to incentivize grinders to be like, get the extra five or 10 bonus tiers with maybe a bonus effect or a glowing banner. Like that would feel so good as a player who grinds the game. It's supposed to feel rewarding, not a chore. Do not make this game a chore. Dailies and we uh, weeklies, I think that's fine, but it should not, that should just be an extra bonus. It shouldn't be a way to where it's like, you feel like you have to do those. 
Personally, I'm gonna be grinding the hell out of the game. I'm gonna be grinding. <laughs> and you don't even have to pay me a dollar to grind on you. And so I, I don't even care what they do because I know I'm gonna get the battle pass no matter what. But that's not what we're talking about here. I've got this. Now let's talk about Founders Packs. We know back in the beta, the Founders Packs was 30, 60, and 100 bucks or something like that. And uh, for me, I find it totally fine. I think they could have been more transparent on what they're buying and like what to expect with the Founders Packs. Because for me personally, I was really enjoying the game. So I bought it to get the skins. I wanted to support them, but it was mainly for the cool effects and not the fear of missing out. And it's exciting. I think the launch packs, if they did a similar thing with an added bonus to the Founders Packs, it'd be, it'd be great. All right, I think I'm liking Multiverse and I'm gonna buy the $100 pack. Boom, got it, baby. Oh yeah, baby, look at that name. We'll be closing the Multiverse's open beta 90 days from today. I think they uh, can make it a little bit better, get more Gleemium get more skins like if i'm spending a hundred dollars i want to feel like i'm i'm giving you a hundred dollars like you know let's settle this once and for all it shouldn't be like early access founders pack it shouldn't be feeling like you have to buy this to catch up like no xp boosts none of that bullshit i hate that stuff the boosters for your character's level your player level uh battle pass level especially i do not want any boost packs like you're just admitting to me that, oh, hey, our system takes forever to level up and it's broken. So here's some battle pass boost, boost XPs. That basically goes over my entire section of what I want cosmetics to be in multiverses. Not pay to win whatsoever. No boosts, no buying characters, no buying perks, no unlocking with real currency. I think we can all agree on that. Uh, the battle pass, we want Gleemium during the battle pass so that way we can earn it back for the next season i think i think most of us could agree on that and i i don't know about this i might i want to know your thoughts on it but uh, having like 20 to 30 dollar skins rain you know ranging from like 10 to 30 dollars based on how good it is how much work they put in only because i would be 100 percent certain that they would want to have they'd want to have skins in the game that look better and feel better and just like way more rewarding that you can earn but overall i think the foundations are clear on what i would want let me know if you guys agree and uh, i cannot wait for mold to come out and i can't wait to waste all my money use all my money and support these developers let's go let's go crazies all of you crazies come on crazies all of you crazies <laughs>